Hi, I'm Mark Green with the Oklahoman in Washington. Sifting through the coverage of New York Governor Elliot Spitzer's resignation, you don't find too many people shedding tears for Spitzer, an aggressive, ambitious politician who made his way as a relentless prosecutor, and then was done in by his involvement with a high-dollar prostitution ring. In politics, what comes around goes around. A guy who once described himself to a political rival as a steamroller got flattened this week, and apparently few are losing sleep over it. You can't say the same thing about Mrs. Spitzer. No one who saw Silda Wall Spitzer watch silently as her husband apologized and resigned his office wouldn't feel badly for her and the couple's three daughters. Unfortunately, the families of political figures that are caught in scandal suffer most deeply and most personally. I still remember the look of Pat Nixon in 1974, suffering through Richard Nixon's farewell talk to the White House staff after he resigned amid the Watergate scandal. Another political wife, Dina Matos McGreevy, was blindsided in 2004 when her husband, then New Jersey Governor James McGreevy, told the world he was gay. Now they're separated. Her sad experience uniquely qualified her to provide TV analysis of the Spitzer meltdown this week. Probably the most famous injured wife in American political lore is Hillary Clinton. She stood by her man, then made her own political career and is running for president. Strange the way things work out. Many other political wives have suffered, and you know it's not what they signed up for when they agreed to partner in their husband's political careers. Endless campaigning and the loss of privacy are a steep enough price, and then some have to share humiliations they had no part of. Americans of all political views had to be moved by Silda Spitzer's public pain that only hinted at private anguish. A friend of hers told the Washington Post that Mrs. Spitzer would have no shortage of people wanted to be there for her. More than you can say about the governor, which I guess is some small consolation.